subscribe. Like. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is kind of an impromptu video. I'm sorry about the hair and the face and I just woke up and it's very close to Mother's Day. My mom came over and was watching me throw. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hold on. My mom came over and was watching me throw and she's been watching the Great Pottery Throwdown. So she's like, oh, I could do that, I can do that. while I'm throwing and I'm like, no. You can't. And she's like, oh, I could, what's the one where they do it and they make a, a, a big, uh, and they do it and they keep throwing it off of the hump and I'm like, throwing off of the hump, hump, mom? And she's like, yeah, I could do that, let me do it. And after like the 15th time, I was like, you know what? It's just content at this point. Come, come on, come on. You're gonna throw off the hump? Yeah, but you gotta give me tips. No, what, what happened to I'm the best, I can do that? Well, I need to know, like, wet it first. I love then... you, but you're the most I saw it on TV so I can do it in person. I've ever met. I'm gonna show you right now. Do I put water first? Nope. Ma'am. First of all, right, we have this ball. I made you about three pounds of clay, maybe. Two okay. and a half, right? Okay. The first thing you do is you get it in the center and you slam it down. <laughs> and slam it down. Okay. Right? right? The second thing is you put your foot on the pedal. Once you put your foot on the pedal, right, you slowly, no, don't touch it yet. Slowly spin it. Slowly. There you go. And you're gonna, with your palm, diagonally going inwards with your left palm, Right? Hit it like this. Hold on. No, don't touch. Hold on. Wait for instructions, ma'am. I'm oh, sorry. Please. <laughs> You're just going to make sure it's attached to the wheel by hitting it a little bit like this. Okay. Okay, so go ahead. That is your right hand. Okay, good. Okay, the second thing is that you're going to grab with one hand some water. You're going to keep your foot on the, on the pedal. It's yeah. doing it. Well, you're going to want to change speeds every now and then. Okay, okay. Right? So when you're centering, you go a tiny bit faster. Okay. And then as you get higher, the center of gravity ends up getting higher and higher as well. So you're going to have to go slower and slower and slower. When you see people make huge pots, they're going like 0.5 miles per hour. Okay. Right? So you're going to get a little bit... Oh, which... Which... Uh, well, you're... You, you want... You, uh, no, I'm listening. I'm listening. Ma'am, please. I, okay, I'm listening. Ma'am, please. <laughs> I'm listening. You're gonna get a little bit of water with your hand and put it on here. Okay. And you're gonna put both pinkies and the blades of your hand at the very bottom. You're gonna place your elbows on your knees and you're gonna push in like this. So it's gonna feel like this. Ow! Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> right? So go ahead and try and do that. Ready? On your elbows. Elbows on your knees. I can't. My arms you are short. To. Okay. A little bit more water. No, hold on. Let me start. take your take your hands off. Hey, oh, see, splashing. you had too much water, and because you're splashing, <laughs> get your hands off. Wait, I I'm trying to show you. So hold on, look. And then, okay, you center that. That should be easier than right. Elbows on your knees. Okay. Put your thumb over this. Put your thumb over this. Both thumbs. Both thumbs. Push down with your thumb in this direction. Nope. You moved your thumbs. Wait, wait. Let go, 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 let go. So you get your thumbs, you put the thumb over it, and you push down with your thumb in a diagonal direction. Even with one hand, you can see I'm maintaining pretty good control. My hand is not moving. I'm braced. See that? Yes. So your hand is... The, my hand is not moving. You're not letting the clay control the, you. The clay is formed to my hand because the clay is softer than my literal bones and skin. It always will be, unless you're okay. a monster. <laughs> right? Don't push down with your thumbs just yet. I know okay. you see potters on YouTube push That's down with I their thumbs. Do. Make sure your thumbs are over there. You want the blade of your thumbs, so to speak, up there. Yeah, pull them like that. Okay? Like that. Slowly release. Slowly. Your whole hand. Both hands. Let go. You suffer. You. Well, kinda. You suffer from wanting to touch it too much. Oh, okay. Yeah, you. Yeah. Because there's definitely a. A brand of person who thinks the more I touch it, the more I can. But realistically, you touching it is the thing that messed it up. I see. Yeah, that that definitely happens with beginners all the time. I want you to push both hands. You're gonna put like this with your middle finger, and you're Go gonna in. dig in. Okay. Okay. See, one hand's bracing the other. They're both 
you, but yours are going to be on your knees. I can just do this because I've been doing it, you know. Okay, okay? I'll try. My arms Go are ahead. short. I can't. Your do arms it. are short, but it, you're my mom, like so. Like this? Push down. Push, 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 push. P push down. Like, pretend you're going through human skin. You're killing this person. Slowly. Deep into their neck. How far do I go? Slowly let go. Slowly. Slowly. Pull out. Slowly. There you go. I made a hole. You made a hole. You did great. That's what you're supposed to do. Now, once you're at this hole, you're essentially going to get both hands again. What do I do with the clay on my hands? You wash it. Oh, I take it off? So what I do is I, I, I get it. this. and No, you can't use it. So I do this, right? Wash my hands like this okay. in the bowl with the sponge. And then you make sure everything's good in there. Oh. From here, you want to pull outwards. So you want to start here. Okay. Make sure your finger touches the bottom of the vessel, not the wheel, the vessel. Okay. Which is the clay. And then you're going to pull one consistent pull. Don't do this. No shaking. Okay. Okay. Just one consistent, as if you're pulling on a rope that's resisting you. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I'm still bracing it. You were still, but this touch this thumb. No, no, no. Touch this thumb to your hand. Oh, for See? leverage. Yes. Pull. In the direction of your fingers. Pull. Hard. Oh. Consistently. Now slowly let go. Slowly release. Slowly, 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 slowly. Don't do it too fast or else it'll juke on you. Done. Thanks. From here, you're going to pull the wall. I so, can do it. Are you do it by yourself? No. Are you sure? Yeah. You can go ahead. No, no, I will okay. not stop you at all. See, a little bit of water. What is this position? What is this hand position? You're right-handed. Why are you pulling on the left? I'm, I'm, I'm ambidextrous. You're not ambidextrous. I am. You are 100%. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. What is this? I'm pulling up. What is this position? Um, are you are you pulling up right now? Is that what's going on? That's what I'm trying to do. Is that what the kids call it nowadays? <laughs> Tell me how to do it. You're bad, kid. <laughs> I know. You're bad. One finger here, the other finger here. You're trying to, you're not pulling. I hate that potters call it pulling, to be honest with you. We should call it pinching. Okay. Because what you're doing is as you pinch a clay body like this, you just squeeze one spot without moving, the clay will get thinner and go up. So what you're doing is you're pinching, you're just moving your hands up as you pinch very slowly. And see the clay is slowly getting away because you're squeezing it. Okay. Clearly, right? Don't, don't move, I'm bracing on you. You start at the bottom. Okay, start at the bottom. All the way at the bottom. You're using your palm, why? Use your fingertips. I'm in the bottom. Yeah, but use your fingertips. Out here? Move, watch, watch, watch. Finger, finger. Oh, I'm, they're no meeting. No palm. Finger. They're meeting each other. Yes. Okay. And push this thumb on here, right here, to get stability. Oh, to hold me. Yup. That is a stability point. So you're not squeezing very hard, you're touching it. Because <laughs> I'm not super strong like you. Know. People on the, people on the, oh, oh, oh. no, no, no. It's, it's okay, gonna, it's okay. We got it, we got I'm it. I'm going to fix it. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. I can fix it. One finger here upside down, one finger here. I'm bracing my finger up against the side of this finger. I'm with you. And I'm squeezing all the way at the bottom, and then I'm slowly moving the joints of my elbows. I'm not moving my hands whatsoever at all. Okay. Realistically, when you watch me, what I'm really doing is I'm just moving my elbows and my hands are touching each other. They're braced. So even on camera, my hands are slowly moving up, but it's really just the joints of my elbows moving my hands up. My hands themselves, not moving at all. See that? Mm -hmm. Right? And then once I get to the top, you very slowly release. I can't stress that enough. There's so many people who pull and they're like, ah, oh, thanks. You know? Oh. And then I have to, like, hey, have to fix it. make sure it's a little slow. You know? Pull more? You keep going? You, you can if you want. It's gonna, oh. it's gonna definitely gonna mess it up. I pulled a little too. I'm an aggressive puller. See, you're just touching it. Oh. Yeah, you're not You're squeezing. not manipulating. Hey, you're, you're doing this, you're doing this. So give me your hand. Give me your hand. What you're doing is you're doing this. Right? I need you to be like... Press. Yes. I need you to actually push. I don't know, you can't do it that way. You have to do it this way, whatever hand is dominant. You're not, you're not squeezing at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're not squeezing it. I just see you like molesting the clay. You're just like, mm, maybe it'll become something. <laughs> That's not how that works. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna do it. Hold on. I'm gonna show you. Are you sure? Oh! oh wait, we gotta start over. <laughs>
You remember that one time? <laughs> in band camp? That you were like, I'm the best. Wow, everybody get out of my way. I can have to throw Stop it. around you. Get you know, some help. Son. I could fix this. This is what all Why the doesn't the wheel stop? Because your foot's on the pedal like I told you to, remember? Uh, it's not. You have to stop it with the foot pedal. Well, that's weird. That's not weird. That's how they go. The sewing machine is not like this. I, yes, it is. You have to lift your foot off to make it I'm stop. I'm going to give you a kick wheel one day. Are you trying to salvage this clay? Yeah. Oh, no. Why not? You're torturing it, essentially. Wait, it's not salvageable now? I, I mean, not really anymore. Really? Look at it. I can't take it anymore! I just want to die! You are really trying to fix it. I'm doing it. You're doing great! I know. I lie. I'm straight oh, up lying. You're lying I'm, to I'm me. capping mm -hmm. my face off to you. It's too thick. They'll tell me. Stop fingering the... <laughs> Stop, Stop it. it. You hate it? No, I don't hate it. It looks, I know it looks really clean and serene on TV when you're watching like the Dirty Potter Showdown or whatever, but Greatest <laughs> Pottery, Dirty Don't dirty hate 30. on my show, my pottery show. But it is not easy at all. So, um, Miss uh, Earth Nation Mom, can you tell me what you've learned today? <laughs> that this is harder than it looks. It's harder than it looks. Was it serene for you? Was it meditative at all? It is. Are you sure? No. Okay. I, I could see how it could be. Which, yeah, it takes a couple of years to get good at, to be honest. Right. Or after. at least to the standard at which you are happy with your own artwork. Right. I, I think it could be if you, like, practice a little bit and then you're like, oh, this is okay. But, like, yeah. As it, as it stands, it's frustrating until you can make something. And it's not even a question of whether it's good or bad. Right. It's a question of whether you're happy with it. That's, that's really the issue, is that it takes a couple years to where you feel like the process is rewarding for the amount of work you put in and the product came out and you're like you know what this isn't like good comparable to other people's work but i love it i'm happy with it i'm gonna take it home and give it to my mom for mother's day we're not gonna fire that though that that looks like it, it as long as we sealed this it looks like it regrets it was alive <laughs> but it was born in texas well, so it really didn't have a choice don't say texas <laughs> Anybody want to buy it? Every second I live is pain. <laughs> Somebody wants to buy it. I'm, you know what? Put in the comments below if you would like to buy that. Wait, hold on. Tell them like this. Look, it could be like an ashtray. Yeah, that to mom, that totally looks like an ashtray or and not, not exactly what everyone is thinking of. It could be a cup holder. That is not. That looks like an ovum. A what? Um, the lips. A Venus? Sun. It looks like... Look, now, how much? $19.99. I will give you a candy bar for that. It's on sale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was super interesting. I think we might do a couple more minutes of me throwing. Because uh, <laughs> my mom has been like, do it! Throw it off the hump! Do the throwing off the hump. I saw it on the, on the, what's that show called? Pottery something. About the pottery English Harry Potter throw down. Oh, yeah. What about in here? What? In there? Yeah, you can wash your hands in there. Okay. I did great. You can wash your hands in there. That's my pee bucket. <laughs> if you're a potter in your own studio without a bathroom, you either live long enough to see yourself build a bathroom or you die with a pee bucket. Yeah. I don't know if I can show his work on my camera. Oh. Yeah, I, he might copyright me. I don't know how, I don't know what he thinks about me, you know. Okay. He used, like, he took some slip clay. Yeah. And he put it inside of, like, a syringe without a needle. Yeah. And then he put it around the body of the cup, and then he banged the cup, and oh, it kind of created the like the gravity a thing that he does. Yes. Yeah, you that's want me to, amazing. You want me to do that? You should do it. Do you have one of those? Do I have think? enough slip over there in the corner somewhere to make one of those. So if you, you need want, a syringe, I, I have a bunch of syringes. Okay. Is there any specific shape you want me to make? Oh shit! You can. Oh, you can yes. Do you want a belly mug? You like belly mugs. I'll make you one. Yeah, okay. With a big stomach. A slippy and a, and a a slippy belly mug with a big stomach and a small mouth so heat kind of stays in. But wait a minute. When are you going to put that on there with the syringe? Well, I'll, pro I'll probably record it at a later time. You won't be here, but okay. I'll definitely do it. Because it has to dry. It doesn't have to, but I do have to go prepare the slip, so I probably will do it in a drier phase. Okay. Yeah.
and this is going to be the Slippy Mom mug. I don't know if you. I don't know if you should. I'm sure you're gonna want it. Yes. Okay, right. But it's you mine. be you be you stealing can't... a lot of pottery. I borrow it. Uh, yeah. I borrow it. There's a bunch of moms right now who are gonna comment down below like, "Oh, she gave life to you." Look, I'm a millennial. That's that's not really a top tier thing anymore. A lot of us didn't ask for that, yeah, all right? Care. So I'll, what are you gonna do the outside of that? You're gonna do the yeah, I'll, syringe I'll do the, thing? I'll do and the then syringe you're gonna bang yeah, it? Yeah, I'll do the syringe yes. slippy thing for you. On video? I'll try and do it just like Old Forge does it. Old Forge, can you tell my mother Happy Mother's Day if you Yay! Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> She's off to the side like, yay! I might like him. Tinky Winky! His stuff is awesome. He is, he's pretty cool. He's, he's pretty chill. A lot, a lot of potters are not chill. Old Forge definitely one of the ones that is. She's gonna go now, so you're not gonna see her anymore for the actual slipping of the mug. But we made the mug, we're gonna make it for her. Hopefully I'm gonna post it on either my Instagram or my Twitter so that way you can see it later on. I promise you I'll put it in big old letters, Mother's Day mug! But since this is being recorded right before Mother's Day, and it takes like a month to finish off a kiln load in a 1027, it's gonna take a while to actually make. So thank you for joining me today. Hopefully you like this Mother's Day episode. Um, subscribe. You, uh, so, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Don't put it right here. Subscribe. Like. Like and follow. Subscribe. <laughs> Share. <laughs> Share. Instagram. Instagram. Twitter. Twitter. And then YouTube. subscribe. Just say subscribe because they're already on YouTube. <laughs> Just Instagram, Twitter. Instagram, Twitter, subscribe. subscribe. Okay, go. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Ready? I'm going. Instagram, Twitter. Subscribe. All right. But we're not saying Facebook. Well, we're not saying. Well, we don't. We don't. Yeah, we don't have to. Yeah. All the all the links are down below for all my stuff anyway. If they, if they really want to find me in my website, they they do the five seconds of work. Okay. I'll put in the video. You're gonna for you. do the Facebook. I'll do Instagram, that. Instagram. Yes. Subscribe. One hundred percent. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I all promise. Right. Like, follow, and share. No, you you can't anymore. <laughs> it's too many. You've already done. You've done like seven takes. <laughs> Okay. There's no more you can do. <laughs> okay. She's gonna get going. <laughs> Are you trying to make me leave? <laughs> I, I will out. see you, Dirty Potters, in like five seconds, but she is probably gonna get gone. You need to leave. Okay, it's a couple of days later, and this is the cup. It's pretty much done except for the handle and the slip that we promised my mother. It's already trimmed on the bottom, my signature's already there. It's pretty dry, you can handle it pretty well by this point. And to boot, off camera, I made the nice slippy dippy that my mom wants me to put on there. This stuff actually took me a little bit of time to do because there's a few problems with this technique. Number one, it has to be the right amount of thickness so it won't just slough right off of the pot. If it's too watery, gravity is going to take its toll. It's just going to move down the pot. You want it to be stable, but not so stable that if it wasn't jostled around, gravity wouldn't affect it. And secondly, you have to know how to make slip kind of smooth like this. I put mine in a blender and I also put it through a sieve. Otherwise, there'd be giant chunks in it. And I don't think you guys wanted to see me do that on camera. So I just did it for you off camera. The next step means we have to get some type of applicator or suction thing or some kind of like baby snot sucker. And fortunately for me, I just had a child. So I can use one of these. Okay, that tip right there might be a tiny bit too small because I clearly need to push this through and that's like for liquid liquid so uh, I'm just gonna do one of these real quick give it the old circumcision there we go I do regret to inform you that it does not go in smoothly so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of suck by the time that I sucked up one spot the other spots weren't liquid enough to like come into that spot and fill it up to suck some more so I had to shark it around as I pulled through just to make sure that there was constantly enough product to suck through the syringe here. This is actually much harder than it looks. It also takes a lot more slip than you- Yeah, I think that- I think that's enough slip. I honestly do think that's enough slip. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the top and the bottom of the whole vessel and just- Give it the old, give it the old shake and bake. Give it the old, you know, give it some of that. You know, I feel like I could have done a much better job at that 
by adding a little bit more water so gravity would affect it more. But I also don't think that's too bad of a try for my literal first time ever doing this technique. So we're going to attach the handle and we're going to call this good. Unfortunately, this is going to take like a month to make before my mom gets it because I still have to fill the kiln and upload pictures on my website and take pictures of it. But if you find me on Instagram or Twitter, I will post pictures of it. But thank you very much for joining me today. Hopefully you had a good time meeting my mom. We get videos of her very rarely. And hopefully you like to see how I did this. It was super easy. As long as you know how to make slip, you're essentially good to go. But thank you, Dirty Potters, for joining me today. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Remember to click all the YouTube buttons so YouTube doesn't actually lash me when you're not looking. Okay, bye. Thank you for your patronage. Fancy. I know fancy. You fancy. I'm so fancy.